Yeah. Um, Sounds good. When you finish, yep. get on the phone to the police commissioner. I will. I was in here with him this morning. I understand, he told me. All right. He knows exactly he has no right of law to, to remove me from this building. Right. He already admitted to me this morning that it's public infrastructure. He already admitted to me this morning I have right of access into that building. And Until we refuse it. And we you, can't. Don't, you can't refuse it. We can. You can't refuse the public access to their parliament. Yes, there's a parliamentary, there's legislation for the parliament precinct. So who owns the parliament? The speaker is in charge. And of who the owns the parliament? The Commonwealth of Australia. And who are the Commonwealth? The See, so you got that wrong. Just play it go, down. Go in there right now and ask. Let's go for coffee. <laughs> I just want to sit down with him and have a chat because there's a bench over there. He's obviously a, he's obviously a reasonable chap, and we're not actually breaking any law. So. Well. Why am I sitting down? Come on. As long as they don't follow, you know, there's no need for that. Did I at any stage say I didn't want to know? Or why, why do you think I came out to speak to you? See, I want to know what... I'm actually appreciative be, because this morning when I, when I spoke to the police commissioner, he knows what the hell's going on. Chris Cox at the Supreme Court knows what the hell's going on. Why they won't tell all you guys is beyond me. Because you're the guys that are in fucking trouble. You're the individuals that time. That's right. When when I went into the when I went into the Supreme Court to sit down with Chris Cox yesterday, he basically Chris Cox is the director of the courts here. Right. All right. So he's the top top job of the administrative side of the whole entire judiciary system here. Right. Okay. So I've actually got him on video. Admitting there's no constitution here. What point of law are you using? What kind of law are you? Are you... Uh, under the Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1900. Okay. That is my point of law. Okay. So That's what, my standing. So what particular section? That what particular section? The Crimes Act 1914 and S13. Well, whatever. Right? I'm refusing this, to sign this, it. This is acknowledging that I understand the law so that I can become a public officer and use the law. Okay. Right. Well, whatever. There's no legal basis, in my opinion, for this document. Uh, so under I'm not what act? It. Under what I'm point refusing of to what sign act? it. I'm refusing to sign it. Admitting that there's no... He, he has international law. <laughs> That's it. There is nothing else but international law in this country. Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1900. Okay. How in any way is this international? Yeah, well... First off, you've got that wrong. I did not say that at all. I said it's not an international doc document. Oh, that's what the I said. But then, but then your secretary said she was a member of the registry. Okay, the lady of the member of the registry said just Okay, so public notaries, you wanted me to sign this as a public notary. Mm. So public notaries only sign international doc documents. There's no legal basis for signing. And that was admitted to me on tape by Chris Cox. That's up on YouTube right now. And within, they're trying to take it down. They're trying to take down. <laughs> within two two hours of me getting home and publishing and all this stuff, phoom, it's gone. It's been deleted from the internet. Who can have access to my Facebook account like that? Mm. Right? <laughs> that's, that's exactly right. It's true. And then when it's I put this true. video up on YouTube, less than 12 hours, I get a takedown notice from YouTube. So what? I push the right button. I don't know. Chris Cox might have contacted. No. See, so that's button. exactly right. See, he, so, he for, might have been misinformed, I don't know. From my point of view, I want to come in here with a pen. And that's been my attitude for the last two years, is that there's no point in uprising and being angry about all of this. I was like that at the start when I got touched, and then I ended up in court. And because they screwed around and didn't follow their own rules, that's when I started to question what was going on. Were you running your own case? Or yes. Was the well, no, I had, oh, sorry, a, was, was, um... I had a lawyer running my case for me, but when I started to question the court, she put in a cessation to act on my behalf. So I had to defend myself. So I started...